Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to calculate the area of the square, which is this here. The length of its sides are assumed to be B each. Its angles are right angles. Here also, this angle is a right angle. The length of this line segment is A, and this is also A. That of this is 2 units, while this is 14 units. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the area of this square? The formula for calculating the area of a square is the square of the length of any of its sides. So the square of this gives its area. We write area of square equal to b squared. What is the value of B? We don't know. We'll start by labeling the point. Now look at this triangle QRT. Because of this right angle, it is a right angle triangle. We have the length of its sides to be 2, A and B. We use the Pythagorean theorem on the triangle. The Pythagorean theorem states but the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle, which is this here. So by Pythagoras, b squared equal to 2 squared plus a squared. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. So b squared equal to 4 plus a squared. Come here, replace this b squared with 4 plus a squared so area of square equal to 4 plus a squared now here we assume the size of this angle RQT to be R this triangle it is a right angle triangle and one of its angles is R based on the rule that the summation of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees this angle here must be 180 minus 90 degrees minus R 180 minus 90 degrees is 90 degrees so the angle is 90 degrees minus R if we look here this angle this right angle and this align on the same straight line and we know the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees since this angle is 90 degrees minus R and this is 90 degrees this must be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus into 90 degrees minus R minus into 90 degrees minus R is minus 90 degrees plus R 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 90 degrees is 0 so it is R now here from this vertex we draw a perpendicular to this line TV the length of this line TV is A but it is divided into this segment and this we let this be m and this n so we say m plus n equal to a now look at this triangle it is a right angle triangle and it has an angle r same is for this triangle it is also a right angle triangle and also has an angle r that is they are similar but here, this is the hypotenuse and its length is B. Same is for this triangle. This is its hypotenuse and its length is also B. That proves that the two triangles are congruent triangles. So therefore, this side facing angle R will have the same length as this side also facing angle R. It is A. Therefore, this must also be A. And this side and this must also be congruent. So since so this is m and this is 2, m equal to 2. Substitute it here. So 2 plus n equal to a. Take 2 to the right hand side of the equation. Now n equal to a minus 2. For this triangle now, it is also a right angle triangle. We have the length of this side to be A and this is N. We use a so 
taking this as theta, this must be the opposite, and this is the adjacent. From here, tan theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is h, opposite is n, and this is a. So tan h equal to n over a. And we have its value here to be a minus 2. Substitute it here. So tan h equal to a minus 2 over a. Keep it aside. Now come here. We see this line is perpendicular to this. And this is also perpendicular to the same side. That is, they are parallel. So since this makes an angle h with this side, the angle between this side and this must also be h. Now look at this triangle PRV. It is a right angle triangle. And we have the length of this side to be 2 as. Well, this is the summation of this 14 and this 2. That is 16. If we use a circuit wall on the triangle, taking this side as theta, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. Here, then theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is h, opposite is 2a, and adjacent is 16. So, then h equal to 2a over 16. 16 is 2 times 8. This 2 cancels this 2. So, then h equal to a over 8. Recall here, then h equal to a minus 2 over a. Replace this tan h with a minus 2 over a. So a minus 2 over a equal to a over 8. We cross multiply. Here a minus 2 multiplied by 8 is 8a eight minus 16. While here a times a is a squared. So 8a minus 16 equal to a squared. Bring a squared to the left hand side of the equation. So 8a minus 16 minus a squared equal to 0. That is minus a squared plus 8a minus 16 equal to 0. Multiply through by negative 1. It is a squared minus 8a plus 16 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. We solve by factorization. This minus 8a can be written as minus 4a minus 4a. Here, a squared minus 4a, we factor out a. So it is a into bracket a minus 4. While here, minus 4a plus 16, we factor out minus 4. So it is minus 4 into bracket a minus 4. From here, a minus 4 is common. We factor it out. So it is a minus 4 times a minus 4 equal to 0. That is a minus 4 equal to 0 or a minus 4 equal to 0. Make a the subject. So a equal to 4. Substitute it here. 4 squared is 16. 4 plus 16 is 20. So area of square equal to 20 square units. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.